and then just feel that little clearing. Okay, then we're gonna just we're gonna just shake it out a little. Hi guys, welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. My my phone's a little bit wonky here because I've got it plugged into the charge. Oh, there we go. That's better. So that I don't lose uh, battery here. Um, thanks so much for being here again for Wellness Wednesday. Hope everyone's doing well. Hello, hi Ellie. Hi M. Rye. Hi Anne. I'm. Uh, I had so much fun last week working out with Melissa Wood. It was an incredible workout. You can go check it out on IGTV. I save all of the wellness Wednesdays on IGTV so that anyone who has missed out can um, go there and do it again. Uh, before we get started, just gonna burn a little Palo Santo here. It's been a busy morning. I've done a few pre-records. I've breastfed my little one multiple times. I was playing with um, my, so breastfed my 11 month old and then I was playing with Hart, my little two year old. And then my nine year old is doing school from home and he was like, mom, can you please help me with this? And anyway, I finally made it here to Wellness Wednesday. <laughs> so here's a flower that I picked for you all. This is from our garden, it smells really divine. And now we've got our little affirmation cards. I'm really excited about today. We are going to have Lauren on and she's going to talk us all through about aligning our body. But before we do that, let me just pick an affirmation card here. So, Life always gets better when I treat myself. I deserve the best in this world and I treat myself with the respect and love I willingly give to others. So that's right, we need to respect and love and cherish ourselves um, just as much as we respect and love and cherish others. Because when we do take care of ourselves, we can give back so much more. And that's why it's important for me to share some of this, um, these wellness tips that I've found have been really helpful for me in my life so that they can hopefully be helpful to you as well. And obviously like some things work for some people, some things work for others. And so this is like, you know, a fun way for me to share things that have worked for me. So as I was saying, today we're going to be doing some self body work and a short sculpting workout with Lauren. And she is a best-selling author of and founder of Aligned Life Studio. And um, she has her signature tools, which we, I've got them here behind me. A few of her rollers. I love using her rollers and her little domes. And I have really felt a lot of relief from doing her body rolling techniques. I've been doing them for a few months now. She has an app and she also has her website, which you can go there and learn about um, all of these different techniques and she's gonna talk us through them all today and they've been so helpful for me. And I also love doing her trampoline sessions. Um, they're a lot of fun. I even get my little two-year-old heart out on the trampoline and you can do those sessions on her app as well. And so I'm gonna add Lauren now. Let me see how I do this, go live. Says she's unable to join, hmm. That's interesting. Let me try again. Hold on. It says unable to join. That's really, I wanna try again. I might have to go in and come out again. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm gonna text her, cause it says it, oh, there she is. Are 
Yay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I kept trying to click on um, adding you and it kept saying unable to join. So I was like, Aww. but now so it's funny. How Hello, the IG world. Good. How are you? Very good. Thanks Excellent. for taking the time to be with us today. Oh, absolutely. It's a pleasure. It's so exciting to share body empowerment with anyone and everyone that's interested. So thanks for having me. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. For those who don't know about your story, can you tell us, everyone, a little bit about how you started, how you got into this? Sure, yes. So I was actually an athlete. I grew up playing water polo, swimming, being very kind of forceful in um, my athleticism, like pushing through, trying to control things too much. And I just became thick and dense and felt heavy all the time and kind of had grinding teeth, really tight, could barely move my body. And so I kind of just put myself on my own journey to study the body, mind, and spirit. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And so it put me on um, just wanting to learn about where does cancer come from and disease for that matter. So I decided I actually would go with her to the doctor and ask the doctor, like, so where does cancer come from? And the doctors would say, you know, it's genetic or it's environmental, but we don't really know. And so I just decided, you know what, I'm going to study holistic healing I started reading like Deepak Chopra and all those like, you know, more of the integrative medicine modalities. So I studied a lot of different modalities myself. I studied um, Pilates, Thai yoga massage, Reiki. Um, and then I discovered something called structural integration, which is really where everything came together for me in my late twenties. And that's the study of fascia essentially and how our bodies relate to gravity and posture, how our posture influences our personality. And it really put me on this amazing um, path, I guess, to give people these tools they could do to give themselves self body work through body rolling, breathing, stretching, um, lots of other things, which we'll end up doing today as well. So yeah, so that was my journey. It was an interesting one, put me on the path early at 16. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask <laughs> how old you were. So yeah, 16, that's amazing. To really learn, young. Um, you know, the, the mind-body connection, I guess, and the whole connection yeah. of, like, dis-ease. That's what exactly. I think. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. You nailed it. I mean, that's the whole thing is I realized that there were all these aspects that really – that were the things that created disease, which had to do with your mind, your thoughts. Obviously, nutrition, that was kind of the first thing. I studied nutrition and um, exercise science at UC Santa Barbara in college, which gave me the beginning kind of entryway. And then I started looking at the emotional health and how emotional health can actually lower our vibration and increase inflammation and stress. And then that's when we're more susceptible to dis-ease. So I created this whole online studio to help empower people to really understand how their bodies work and help them decrease inflammation, decrease stress. And again, just feel more in tune with their authentic self and not feel so stuck in that controlled kind of trying to be fit in a box and fit into someone else's like belief system of what you should be and just kind of find our own selves by shedding the layers of stress and tension and kind of this armor that we walk around with. And that's what the connective tissue does is it makes us kind of become dense and thick. And that's part of aging too. So yeah, that's yeah, that's I mean, super interesting. It's, it's so interesting because every thought we think has an effect on us, you know, on a cellular mm. level. And there's been so many different studies done, done on that. So it's really interesting to me. And, and as you said, like tension and whatnot can store in our bodies, in our muscles, you yes. know, whether some of us hold it in our neck, some of us, you know, are in our lower back or so in good. our legs. So true. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are different emotional, um, areas that can respond to that that correlate to those areas in our body um, yeah but then obviously there's like as what you had you had physical tension mm -hmm. as well as maybe emotional tension oh yeah in parts of your body so it's very wound up like very just tightly wound and tightly holding on for dear life like that clutching that's why a lot of people these days have tight jaws or tight pelvic floor lower back that all of that comes from a like a contraction that's continuously happening in our bodies. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful thing is that once we can understand and understand how valuable our bodies are and our emotions are, then we really can start to take the power back and realize that we have the we have the ability to control how we respond in any situation, but not necessarily the outer world, but how we react and respond to anything. Like I always say, like every obstacle can become an opportunity or you can turn any pain into purpose. 
Yeah. So those are the ways I look at my life and sort of how I ended up doing this work as well. Because as you, I've gone through it, I can help others go through it as well, you know? Yeah, so. and just having that perspective because there are so many different ways that you can look at something that may have affected you. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I really believe that seeing it in that growth mindset is so important for all, of, you know, for everyone. Yes, for our planet, for our world too, for everyone to feel more, not so stuck, you know, and so like not being such a victim in, in their environment, in their situation, like we can all move through it. And that's why I use movement, I call it movement medicine, to really move through those things. So we always, it's not like we want to pretend like everything's perfect all the time. We want to just let those emotions come to the surface, acknowledge them and kind of almost give them a hug and say, it's okay. <laughs> And they're part of us and they're a part of our vulnerability and our authenticity and then to grow and evolve from it. And um, yeah, so, but not to be like bear, carrying around this bag of, <clears throat> excuse me, bag of coals. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Totally. And <clears throat> your studio, so Aligned Life Studio. Yes. Um, people can go to Aligned Life app, right? And just- Yep. It's Dude. called the Low Rocks, Low Rocks Align Life app. And then my website is just my name, laurenroxborough.com. And we have a special for anyone that's joining us today. And it's laurenroxborough.com slash Miranda Kerr. So that's Yay! indeed, yeah, we created a special link for anyone that would like to join us and come check it out and find out more and all of that. So, but one thing I really would love to chat about is just the idea of what fascia is, because I think what's <clears throat> really important is it's a newer topic that's now becoming a little more mainstream, which is great. So what fascia is, if people are going, what is this thing she's talking about in fascia? I know you know, Miranda, but fascia is basically this connective tissue, this kind of living tapestry that wraps around our entire body, like almost like a full body wetsuit. It wraps underneath the skin and above the muscle. And then it also wraps around each individual muscle and also around the organs. It's the tissue that basically connects our joints. And essentially it's, it's like a scaffolding of the body and it, it holds our bodies up in space and it's responsible for the shape of our body. So people are looking for ways to kind of have more of that longer, leaner physique. It's a great way to kind of get in there without counting more calories and burning, you know, just counting reps. It's really about quality over quantity. So within our fascia, you'll love this because I know how much you are um, a fan of working with the lymph system. So within the fascia lives our lymph nodes, which is really amazing. So anytime you're working with your fascia or your connective tissue, you're also flushing the lymph, flushing the toxins, which obviously helps, helps us lose extra weight, water weight, bloating, but also helps boost the immune system as well. And then also the other things that are inside this living matrix, um, it's kind of like a cotton, cotton candy webbing if you will and um the nerves are in the fascia so anytime we feel pain or any messages from our body we're going to feel it through our sense it's called our sensory organ science is now calling fascia our sensory organ so as you know the skin is our largest organ well the fascia is right underneath the skin and it's another huge organ that wraps around the entire body so once wow. we start understanding how amazing this sensory organ is and how when we actually work with our sensory organ or our fascia we're actually going to affect the nervous system, which is going to help us deal with stress more efficiently. So there's two different states of the nervous system. There's the sympathetic state, which is about stress, right? And kind of force and control, the yang energy. Then we have the other side, which is the parasympathetic state of the nervous system, which is all about rest, digest, and heal. And that's the state of the system that we as humans have been maybe not getting into as much. That's the yin. That's the creativity. That's the feminine um, that's more of the grounding energy. And we need both as humans to really thrive and to really vibrate and get things done, but also to enjoy and be present. So it's really amazing when we can look at this organ that we can address and nourish and cleanse and heal and hydrate, and then we will feel more vibrant and have that, you know, glow from the inside out and also a sense of groundedness and, um, just alignment, like I say, align your body, align your life. So it's a pretty powerful area of the body. Yeah, I mean, and it's also the fascia is where, like, as you were saying, like toxins can get stored yes. in the fascia. So you can exactly. help flush it out through your lymph system. You got it. And the thing, you know, the other really interesting thing, which I think your followers will resonate with is, 
our fascia essentially like if you think about what is aging right so aging is a form of dehydration right that's why we're always trying to like hydrate and smooth with the gua sha and the oils which is so amazing but we also want to make sure it's not just how much water we drink of course we need to drink lots of good liquids clean water clean um liquids but also it's yeah exactly it's how we actually does that water get into the tissue and if your if your fascia is thick and dense and is holding toxins like it becomes almost like this hard plasticized cast inside the body so one example would be everyone can understand this what if you had a knot in your shoulder blade right so what that is is that knot has become like all the tissue is glued down and it's like a plastic piece in your body so the blood and the lymph isn't going through that tissue anymore it's going around it it's going around it so it's not getting the nutrients and the blood flow and the circulation and the it, literally the hydration and the then the toxins live inside of that scar tissue so as we use any body rolling tool or stretching or breathing or as we go through the flow that we'll do together you'll see what we're doing is we're applying pressure to those knots to that rigidity and we're actually smoothing it and hydrating it's kind of like taking a rolling pin and rolling out dough. So one of the benefits that my clients love is that you become more narrow and you actually become taller as well. So because you're decompressing your joints, you're creating space, you can breathe deeper, you can connect to your core better, you're standing up straighter, you have more effortless kind of flow in the way you move, walk, dance, whatever it is. It's just, it's so empowering to understand this part of your body. So sorry about my tangent. <laughs> No, it's amazing. Well, that's the thing. When you're so passionate about something and you've seen the results firsthand, you just want to like yes. talk share it about like it, you. share it with everyone so that yeah. you can so help true. other people because that's the most rewarding thing is being able to help someone and they may not have known about this before. And now by doing this, you can help them and help them ease any tension or pain and then yes. feel better. So true. Exactly. Yes. I love it. Love it. Love it. So good. So, should we get started? How do we? Uh... Yes, let's do it. So you can, you know, all you need is a yoga mat. And then at the end, I'll show you a few of my favorite roller moves, but basically no shoes. You can be barefoot. I'll move okay, my good. chair away. Let's head back to our mat. And of course, after speaking about water, just grab a sip of water. <laughs> I, have my, I have two water bottles. I have my Rose quartz water bottle here, and then I have, Ooh, have my other water that. bottle here. Amazing. I have a filter <laughs> on my house. Double whammy. Oh, my Double screen whammy. keeps going down. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. I might, Sam, I might need you because the screen is going dark. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, and then we're going to actually, I'm going to put some music on just to set the tone and give us a nice vibe because I find that the music really helps people, um, tune into the experience more yes does that make sense sorry it keeps going dark i know melissa's did that too yeah that's what? right okay. i don't know why <laughs> i know um okay good so is it do you want to turn the music on okay we're getting the music on sorry give me one second but as we're here we can just kind of do a couple twists unwinding this tension in the midsection, you know, this idea of us kind of walking so linear, being so uptight and stiff. And anytime, the, the beauty of doing any of these sort of um, moves or sequences that we go through today, you can just grab a minute or two of your day. If you're feeling really stressed, you kind of feel that tension building up, just stand up. This is gonna ring out your organs. It's gonna tone the core. And it's going to start just giving, getting you more connected and more grounded. Okay, so now you're just going to spread your toes. Have your feet about hip width apart. And then just soften your knees so you're not hyperextending the knees. Beautiful. And then you're just going to close your eyes. And I want you to tune in. We're going to do a quick body scan so you can find out if there's anywhere in your body you're holding stress, tension, trauma. I like to say trauma lives in the tissues if we don't kind of emote it out or move it out. So just find your feet. I always like to say the tripod feet, the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel, feeling grounded and supported all the way through your feet. Feel the inner arches slightly lifted. Feel the weight equally distributed through your front of your feet and the back of your feet so you're not leaning forward and then feel grounded softening your shins softening your knees softening the thighs 
relaxing your hips and your pelvic floor. Think of your pelvic floor like a flower. You can give it a little squeeze like a rosebud, pulling it up into your organ to connect to it and awaken it. And then let's drop that pelvic floor down, expand the flower and feel your feet spread, spread those toes. And just notice, are you clutching anywhere? Are you bearing down? Are you feeling any tension in your lower back and your hips? Maybe you're holding your belly, you're feeling tension in your gut, anything like that. Let your belly relax, feel your organs just drop down into your pelvic floor. And then relaxing, centering into your solar plexus, your personal power, right at your um, diaphragm or where your, your chest and your belly connect. And then opening up the energy to your heart, shoulders, neck, let those shoulders melt down into your back pocket. And then relax your jaw, softening the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Relaxing your forehead, relaxing your palms, letting go, finding the present moment now, letting go of the to-do list, being here and now with your body, with your energy, with the earth, with the consciousness. And as we're in this mode right now, we've actually dropped into the parasympathetic state of the nervous system, rest, digest, and heal. This is where we can actually access the subconscious mind and change our habits and patterns more efficiently. So as we're here, see if there's anything right now that you might be gripping to some kind of negative emotion. It could be anger, fear, resentment, a sense of lack, whatever it is that you're holding on to. See if you can connect to it, bring it to the surface and let's put it in a little thought bubble above your head. And we're going to send that thought or that energy back to the universe, back to the earth to be recycled and alchemized. Now we have a little bit more space in our energy and our vibration. And we're gonna think of an intention we wanna bring in, an elevated emotion, some sort of energy you wanna infuse into our cells, our tissues, our blood, our circulation, our hearts. And that could be something like gratitude, love, joy, unity, a sense of oneness, support, hope, whatever it is that you wanna infuse your body with. Beautiful. Good. And then just slowly opening your eyes. And then let's do some shoulder rolls. Just really peeling the weight of the world off your shoulders. You can soften the knees and just getting into your body, into your physical body, bringing the arms into it, opening the heart, open the chest. Inhale and exhale. Lift your heart, open your chest, open your collarbones. That's it. Bend your knees a little and then lift. So getting those legs activated. Up and open, beautiful. Up and open. Now we're gonna do a really amazing breath that's gonna help again, get into the nervous system. So you're gonna take the arms out. You're gonna double inhale. And then a big surrender exhale, make a noise when you exhale. <sighs> it's called the surrender exhale. I know it's weird. Trusting the unknown, right? Inhale, double. <sighs> now you always have this opportunity throughout the day. Whenever you're feeling stressed, just do a double inhale. <sighs> it's like giving your body a hug from the inside out. Inhale. <sighs> Sorry, you're going dark again. <laughs> and again, last one, double inhale. <sighs> Beautiful, that's it. Now just starting to feel your body. We're gonna do, this is called somatic dance. So just go with your intuition, feel your body, clear your cobwebs, do non-linear movements. This is what your connective tissue absolutely loves. It wants to be nourished. It wants to be cleansed. It wants to be flossed. It's almost like this plaque that builds up in the system. I know it feels a little awkward and weird, but just side bending, again, twisting, Move your head. I love this one for the neck is amazing where you just let your head. Sorry, it's gone dark again. I know, but I can't see it. <laughs> there we go. Technology. Oh, we love it. Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Instagram. So good. Oh, and then just feel that little clearing. Okay, then we're gonna just we're gonna just shake it out a little. Okay, this is great for the lymph system. Gets the lymphs on, under your armpits as well. 
Can you hear me? Oh yeah, I can hear you. I'm enjoying okay. this. Okay, it's, it's so good, right? Over here. <laughs> no, seriously, it's like when we're just like, we have our to-do list and we're going, going, going. Like we need to just, sometimes we just need to shake it out, take a few deep breaths. This is great for the groin, like the lymph nodes and the inner thighs and the lymph nodes in the armpits. Oh, shake out any negative energy, anything you've been holding on to. Yeah, oh, baby, so I love it. It's so good. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so good. Two more. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. If you're not doing this at home, I really suggest you get up and shake Yeah, just up. shake it out. Move yeah. your hips. Move your upper body away from your lower body. Do circles, whatever feels natural, organic. I try to do this every day. To me, it's like stress hygiene in a way. Yeah, So that's good. Great. Okay, so now we're going to take the legs wide. And we're going to do some plies, okay? So yes. inhale, reach up. Hands go to prayer, coming down. Inhale up, using those big toe, pinky toe and heels. Let's get those booty muscles working. Up and down. And then we're just gonna rock a little side to side, spine twist, oh, and then lateral lunge. Stretch those inner thighs, opening up the pelvic floor, the feet. Okay, and then squat down and kick up. Stretching those hips and thighs. You might get a hip adjustment. <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly. great. Exactly. Oh, so good. And breathing deep. Keep finding your center. Keep coming back to your intention. Feeling that strength from the inside out. Lifting with your core. <laughs> And five, that's it. Feel those booty muscles pushing through four, squat down deep, pelvic floor opens, two, and last one. Woo, and then just walk it out, twist, bring that heart rate down again, breathing, so good. And then let's just open our heart a little more. And then you can do a little massage. So place your hand on the front of your chest and just reach back. So it's kind of like, yeah, open, open. Breathe into it, chest expands. And then we'll do the other side. Self body work. The thing is when we release the buildup, the congestion and the tissue, we actually have a better opportunity to build the musculature that we want, that long lean, kind of ba uh, ballet dancer look when we release the blockages. Two, last one. So good. Now you're gonna wrap the arms like this and then drop the shoulders down, turn your head to the right and left. Right and left and then arms out, switch sides, other one on top and turn your head. Find your feet, find the grounded energy, come back to your intention. Going from too much force to more flow. Letting go, yes. Breathing into that upper back. Okay, and then we're gonna do some arm presses. Freeing up that negative energy, leaning, reaching. Yeah, feel your body, your Feel your sides opening, your ribs, your intercostals. We hold a lot of emotional energy in those intercostal muscles, which are your rib muscles. Will you hit it again, Pam? <laughs> <laughs> the lungs. We want to make sure our lungs are working efficiently. They actually, most people will end up not utilizing their whole lung capacity. So it slows down their metabolism, their energy, their blood flow, all of that. It's amazing. So now you're starting to feel... Just go ahead and stand for a minute and just take a minute now and feel how different you feel than when we first started. So you feel that vibration, right? Yeah, and now you feel more energized. Yeah, energetic vibration, clearing out those cobwebs, working your body in all the different ranges of motion. But take a moment and actually imprint this into your system and let your body integrate this into kind of awareness. So yeah. Feel the shoulders down, feel your heart beating. 
Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna just start bouncing our knees a little, stretching the calves. This is good. Anytime I work with clients, I'm always looking at their feet. So many people do workouts in shoes. And to be honest, like there's 26 joints in the feet and we want our feet to be more active, more awake, more connected. And when we have more connection to our feet, we feel more connected to our core. It's a really amazing thing. It sounds crazy, but when we're better aligned in our feet and grounded in our feet, we do a lot of sequences in the studio on the feet. We can actually, again, stand taller, breathe deeper, feel more grounded energetically too. Yeah. It's really amazing. Okay. Now we're going to pick up the pace just for like two minutes to build. And if, let me just get that music going. Here we go. <laughs> okay. You want to turn the music up a little, Sam? Sorry. <laughs> let me just make sure. <laughs> there we go. It takes a village. It does. Okay. Here we go. And then just jump, bounce. So this is similar to what I would do on the rebounder. A little harder on the floor, but still getting the lymph, the bone density growth, which is super important for women, of course. Yes. Just finding a beat. Yeah. And then we're going to go side. Finding those side booty muscles. Just bringing up the vibe. Bringing that high vibe energy. Having some fun. <laughs> Get the wiggles yeah. up. And then jumping jacks. Crossing other leg in front, inner thighs. Woo! That's it. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and one. And then knee up. Knee up. Knees up. <laughs> Using the core. Yeah. Feel the breath deepening. Yes. Feel those booty muscles. Feel your feet. Building that energy inside. Yes. What are you going to work hard for in life, right? What is our purpose? Woo. Okay, now just shake it out. Woo. Shake those lymph nodes. Hydrate that fascia. Move the energy, the life force, the chi in your body. Shake it out. Let the head go. Feel the music. Yeah. And then arms. So this is good for the triceps. Kind of like the kundalini arms. Getting right underneath. Yeah. And then you can go up. Moving your waist, hips. So fun. It's like, it's not choreography. It's not choreography. It's more just feel it, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to come down to the mat. I'm going to grab a little water. Otherwise, I'll have dry mouth talking to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to, perfect. Do you need me to scoot back? Oh, she's going to scoot back. Yeah. Because we're going to come down. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so you're gonna come onto your hands and knees. We're gonna okay. do a little cat cow. When you're ready, big inhale, arch back, and then exhale under. So this is really important to move the spinal cord and move the cerebral spinal fluid inside the spinal cord. That's actually what nourishes the brain. So, when the fluid gets stagnant, the brain isn't getting flush. Think of it almost like another lymphatic system inside the spinal cord. So moving that energy through, feeling rooted through your hands. Last one, little massage of the spine. And now we're going to do sexy cat. So lean your hips to the right, circle back around and up. Inhale to the left, around, clearing those cobwebs doing non-linear movement, opening up the side body. Inhale, that's it. Bringing in that hydration to the tissues, smoothing that tissue out. Last one, inhale and exhale. 
beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of more core work. We're gonna do a plank. So come up. And we're gonna go forward on the toes, inhale. Exhale back, engage that lower stomach. Inhale forward, exhale back. So we're stretching the calves while we're toning our arms and our abdominals big time. Deepen your breath, inhale, exhale, two more. Last one, woo, beautiful. Come back to child's, so good. Feels great. So we do, we kind of do this combo of massaging, wringing ourselves out, but also building that beautiful, sustainable strength. So important. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little more core. So you're gonna lay on your back. And then come all the way down. Both legs are gonna go up. Take both hands behind your right calf, left leg hovers. Stabilize your belly and your trunk and then stretch the hammy, massage that hammy a little in calf while you're doing deep core. Inhale, exhale. I know, Woo! did you get <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, dude, I went dark. Are we good? Yep. Five, deepen that breath. Think of your intention, infuse it into your body and your energy as you're really mindfully moving. Four, Three, two, and one. Good, bend the knees, curl up, take your left elbow to your right knee, extend the other leg, here's some Pilates. Core twist, ring out your organs. I like to exhale through the mouth to really pull the belly in and up and to flush any emotional energy in the guts. Four, Three, two, pulling that waistline in and one. Woo, beautiful. Okay, come up. We're gonna give your back a little self massage. You've probably done this before in, um, in your Pilates. So you're gonna do heels together, toes apart. And you're gonna take the hands and weave them under and through. And then we're gonna roll back, exhale. So you're massaging the lower back, the QL. Inhale, roll back. Exhale as you come up. Inhale back. Massaging the QL, the quadratus lumborum, the lower back. Yes, beautiful. You look so good. Last one. <laughs> Not feel good on your spine. Not right. So important. Feel like a little kid. Yeah. You massage it out. <laughs> so good. Okay, now we're gonna turn and um, let's do arms out in front, heels. Is it really dark? It's okay, okay, I can see you. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, I can't see from here. It's so light over here. Okay, so we're gonna do a little more belly work. So you're gonna curl your tail under as you roll back and then just twist and then come up. Really tap into the deep belly, like I call it the pelvic core, the pelvic core belly, twist, Inhale, exhale as you curl and twist. Woo, feel that psoas muscle? Curl and twist. One more each side, curl and twist. Last one, curl and twist. Crisscross your legs. This is one of my faves. And just rock a little side to side, opening the side body. Stretching the spine after all that belly work. Yes, beautiful. So good. And then you're going to take the arms back and we're going to come up. Stretching the pubic bone and the hips, the inner thighs, and then opening the thyroid gland at the throat, helping regenerate and boost metabolism. Exhale, come down. Now switch the leg in front. So switch your cross, which always feels awkward and then come up, open your heart, open your chest, and come back down. Beautiful, and then come back to center. We're gonna cross the legs and just do a few side bends. Beautiful, let that head go long. 
Beautiful. Last one on each side. Inhale and exhale. Just kind of, we have so much congestion that builds up in the side body. That's actually what creates a lot of the, oh, went back in. Creates the like muffin tops, you know? It's like just this compression, people sitting so deep and compressed. So just having that length there and creating the length through the sides and the back of the body really makes it easier to like <clears throat> have that core connection versus trying to do everything from our shoulders or our jaw, lower back or hips. It's a really important thing. Okay, now we're gonna do a little booty work. So we'll lay on the mat, come all the way down. <clears throat> and we're gonna just spinal articulate up. So heels are about hip width apart, knees are the same, and then slowly scoop the pelvis, massaging the organs as you roll up. So your hips are up, your pubic bone is higher than your ribs. Okay, hold it there. And then you're gonna just lift your hips up an inch and down an inch. Okay, so we're doing little hip pulses here, but now we're gonna add something, which is my little icing on the cake. Reach the arms up, and then you're gonna feel more pressure, like a little massage in the knots between your shoulder blades. So inhale, exhale, and if you want more, you can wrap, and then give yourself a hug, and then hold the hips up, lean them to the right as you massage the shoulder blade, knee, and then hips to the left as you massage Right between the shoulder blade and the spine, you're gonna feel a little massage happening, smoothing out, giving yourself body work from the inside out. Four, keeping those hips up, using your booty. Three, two, and one. How good does that feel, right? That feels so good. And then we're gonna do little circles. So keeping those hips up, keeping the arms up, massage, and then go the other direction. Lift with the smile of your booty. Keep lifting that tush, lengthening the front of your body. Massaging the shoulder blades. Three, two, and one. Woo, getting a little quiver there in the booty. Yeah, so good. I think I lost her in the headset. I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulties, it's all good though. Okay, so now we're gonna come down okay. onto your belly to do some nice extension and arm work and belly massage, okay? So come on down, line your thumbs up with your armpits, opening your heart. It's a little different than your traditional cobra or swan, but slowly traction, draw your shoulder blades down as you open your heart, pull your heart forward and your elbows back, come up and twist, lift the leg and down. Come up, twist, lift the leg. So you're getting an extension, building the upper back while you're simultaneously opening that front body. Okay, this time come up and then hold it. So elbows in tight to the body, elbows reaching back, come down an inch, up an inch. Belly pulls in and up, breathe, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, use those triceps. Woo, come all the way down. And you can put your forehead on your hands. Give yourself a little break. And then bend your knees. This is one move I learned in Thai yoga massage training. And you're gonna drop your heels to either side. Massaging the hips, unwinding the rotations that build up in the thighs. Breathing into your belly. Beautiful. And then we're going to come up. And similar to bow in yoga. So you're going to come up. Open your heart. Open your chest. And then you're going to rock. Massaging the front body here. Little side to side. You'll feel a nice bicep stretch from all of us sitting and being on a computer and texting too much or holding babies. Stretch the front of the arms and the heart. Three. Two. And one, bring your heels to your booty. Woo, so good. Okay, then we're gonna do a little swan dive, which is a really great move to do if you're ever feeling bloated, you wanna give yourself a belly massage. So you're just gonna keep your legs whoops, wide. Inhale, come up. Make sure you do a big exhale. 
Moving all the gases and fluid through the guts, regenerating the belly. That's it, deepen that breath. Flush the stress. Two and one. Woo! Oh, that, that feels, feels good. Off, babe. That feels right. great. Now, of course, you want to do a nice child's pose to balance. You can do hips to the right, hips to the left. And let's do a tricep stretch. So forehead down, bend, stretch your tries, extend, and then the hips to the right, hips to the left. Beautiful. Woo! That feels now, great. We've, we've worked like the entire body, right? So what I want to do is just show you guys like two of my favorite moves on the roller. Okay. Because you'll see that we can do mat work and we can use all of the body rolling tools. And I do that inside the studio and a lot of different places, but it is an amazing investment. And it just is the, the tool that helps shed the layers of stress, density, thickness, trauma, tension, so that you can really connect to the right muscles and also feel stronger and again, more empowered. So you're gonna take your travel roller and just put it under your bra line, essentially, your upper middle back. Okay. Feet are hip width apart. I'm sure you've done this one so much, Miranda. You probably love this one. Yes. So it's like, I always call this one like peeling back the weight of the world off the shoulder. So smoothing that away. Inhale, exhale, and you can draw the elbows together. Take the elbows wide. Inhale together. Exhale wide. Deepen that breath. Remember, any time you put pressure on the tissue with any tool, we're really bringing in that hydration, that lubrication, and we're smoothing the tissue down, making it less thick and dense and heavy, and also just more vibrant and glowy and more flexible and fluid. Last one. Beautiful. And then lower your booty. Keep the roller right under your bra line. Inhale, arch all the way back, opening up your diaphragm, stretching the neck and thyroid gland. And then a big exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Pull that belly in as you curl. Inhale back. <sighs> exhale, curl. Inhale back, deepening that breath, diaphragmatic breath. Exhale, curl, flushing anything that's stuck in the belly. Last one. <sighs> exhale. That one also helps to build the neck, that strong, the strong muscles in the neck. It's so important. Okay, so now we're gonna come to sitting. It feels so good. Now we're gonna run out of time. So good. Grab a sip of water. And if you want, if you're, if anyone has discomfort or anything, you can sit on a pillow or a chair somewhere where you can kind of find yourself again so we can seal the session and infuse all of this new, these new connections and this new energy into your system. Okay, so crossing your legs, roll the shoulders down and back. Sit up nice and tall, reaching out through the crown of your head. Feel the sits bones grounded down into the earth, into the ground under you, feeling supported by the earth. Relaxing the lower legs and shins and thighs. Feeling that chi or life force radiating through your system. Glowing from the inside out. Taking a moment here. And again, letting go of what no longer needs to be carried with us around like a bag of coals. Surrendering what we cannot change. Coming back to ourself finding peace within, relaxing the pelvic floor, letting that pelvic floor flower and bloom and expand, feeling open instead of clutching and bearing down. Let the organs drop down into your pelvic floor, softening the tissue in your belly and waistline. And then visualizing the diaphragm muscle, that's the dome-shaped muscle that separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. It's the muscle for what's responsible for how much oxygen we take in and how much CO2 we flush out. So take a big breath in. As you breathe in, you're gonna feel your diaphragm press down into the organs, wringing them out, and the pelvic floor is gonna open and expand. That's bringing in all the oxygen to nourish your body. 
Then as you exhale, the pelvic floor comes up, the organs come up, the diaphragm pushes up into the lungs and rings out all that CO2 and also emotional energy that needs to be let go of. Then opening your heart to more receiving and giving love. Relaxing your shoulders, your neck, your jaw, and infusing your body with the elevated emotion or the intention that we started with. That could be gratitude, love, hope, unity, whatever it is, infuse it into your cells, into your tissues, into your blood, into your organs, into your bones, into your aura, into your energy, and out into the quantum field around you to the consciousness to help elevate the consciousness on the planet. As we elevate ourselves, we help elevate the world and the universe. Beautiful. Big inhale through the nose. <sighs> Exhale. Amazing. So good, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. That was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> so the like difference. There's even, there's even so much more if we had more time that we could do on this, like rolling out. The I know. I can do a whole session on that. If your people want to see that, we can do that anytime. I can do any of the tools, whatever you want. I'm here for you guys. I feel so rejuvenated from Yay. taking that time. So out of, important. Um, how busy days and doing yeah. that together. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. I feel better too. It's like yeah. I get to go through it with you guys. It's so good. So it's, important. It's really, you know, we always think, oh, we're so busy. But then we actually do these exercises, these, this stretching, then yeah. it just brings all that blood flow and gives us more energy so that we can get back so much more to our family, to our work, mm -hmm. to our friends, to everything. Yes. To our life and we can enjoy it more fully, more vibrantly. That's right. Yeah. And we really, it's, it is all about balance and we want to make sure we make time for ourselves. Like they say, we got to fill up our own cup before we can help everyone else that we want to help. So yeah, so that's cool. right. Yeah. And it, we can i'm going to save this so people can watch it again on igtv yes and um yeah thank you to everyone for joining us and if what, people want to see more they can go to your aligned life studio right yes. and lauren uh, com slash studio or for your for your people here lauren com slash miranda kerr and we have a special opportunity so we're giving a really good discount to anyone that wants to join from this from this group amazing so that's yeah. incredible about the special offer so everyone should go check it out today yeah, and, absolutely. and just make sure that you know you take that time for yourself because yeah. it really just feels so good so yeah. thank you and this My is a pleasure. this is a great little roller yeah it's so easy it. and it's and got it's a not... softness to it right it's soft so it's more like a memory foam it really rings out your connected tissue flushes the toxins, smooths out all that stress and tension and kind of plaque buildup. It really is the thing I love about this whole way of doing things is that you don't have to spend an hour. You could literally do like a couple breaths, a few things on the roller, like whenever you have a couple minutes here and there, it's really that simple. It's not about, oh, you have to spend an hour doing this. Yeah. It could be throughout your day. You could be taking those, that double inhale and exhale to send the message to your nervous system. You could be like, oh, I just need a shake. I need to shake out the stress. Or you can bounce on your trampoline, whatever it is. It's like little pockets. I think, you know, as a mom, I want to find ways I can do things throughout my day, not just spend a whole hour sometimes, you know? That's true, yeah. Sometimes they might only nap for 20 minutes and you're like, oh, man. But exactly. it's good to just, like, get in what you can. Yeah, whenever you can. A couple leg lifts when you're cooking dinner or whatever, you know? Put yeah. on the fun music and do your somatic dance, clearing the stress. Even with the it's kids, I, I love to turn the music on and do a little dancing. It's so fun. I know, and it's sensual, and it's creating that feminine energy that we all are just dying for right now. So it's, it's very, healing. very healing. Very oh, healing. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you. I'm so and grateful. And so thank grateful you guys for you. joining us. Yeah, so we fun. really appreciate it. Okay, happy Wednesday. Okay, you too, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.